There's a wide range of cutting techniques that can be done on a smithy. All of them, no matter how complex, can be done efficiently, as long as you follow a few simple guidelines. The first and most important thing to remember is that the cutting tools, the drills, lathe tool bits, and milling cutters must be sharp. Second, cutting tools must be held securely in the machine's tool holders, free from any vibration. Third, the workpiece, or in other words, the metal you intend to cut, must be mounted securely on the machine, able to resist the force of the cutting tools. And fourth, the correct cutting speed should be used. These four points, tool sharpness, tool holding, work holding, and speed of the cut, all have a direct effect on the ability of the machine to work efficiently, and in the long run, an effect on the quality of your work. Another factor that will affect your work is the use of a cutting fluid, or coolant. The amount of compression required to cut metal produces a lot of heat. At high temperatures, the metal being cut tends to weld itself on the cutting edge of the tool. This effect dulls the tool and leaves a rough surface on the workpiece. The use of cutting fluid is not mandatory, but for most metal, except for brass and cast iron, it is recommended. Cutting fluid cools and lubricates. It prolongs the life of the cutting tools, allows you to cut at faster speeds, and helps to produce parts with a fine finish. As you watch our demonstrations, you'll notice that we're not using a lot of cutting fluid. The reason is because we wanted to get our cameras in close to the action. And to do that, still give you a clear picture, we have to cut back on the fluid. Let's start by looking at the lathe. For most lathe operations, the workpiece is rotated by the lathe spindle, and a cutting tool with a single cutting edge is brought against the workpiece to make the cut. In theory, there are only three basic types of cuts in all lathe work. These cuts are turning, facing, and boring. In a turning cut, the tool is moved parallel to the lathe axis to remove material from the outside diameter of the workpiece. In a facing cut, the tool moves at right angles to the lathe axis, removing material on the face or end of a part. A boring cut removes material from the inside diameter of a workpiece. From a practical point of view, that's just the beginning. There are many variations of these three basic cuts. Drilling, cutting tapers, thread cutting, grinding, and in fact, almost any type of metal cutting operation can be performed on the lathe with the right tools and techniques.